what is the story of the school? And we said to them, well, your name Elam is about the, is the oasis um, in, the, in the Middle East where people passed through and, and stayed. We said, well, let's use that. And we'd already started forming up a, a kind of a, a square with buildings in the centre. And so we took that to the next level and we said, well, let's, let's uh, conceptually talk about the exterior of the buildings as a whole as being the desert and let's clad them in brick, which is an earth material and we'll use earth tones to represent a notion of the desert. And then inside, let's create those courtyards as an oasis, so let's add the colour of, of the souks and the, and the plants and, and things and make it really colourful. Um, so, so that it has an idea of the oasis um, and so we took that uh, notion and then um, we had a block of exactly the same classrooms running uh, east-west through the middle of the building and as we looked at it we said well really it's about a ring of buildings with some in the middle and so we said well let's make those buildings in the middle not the same as the ones around the outside um, but let's make them playful and of the oasis and so they developed into those coloured cubes um, of the four different colours and we wrote Elam on the roof um, and we said let's make those the, the smallest um, students, your first year students, your new entrants so they're kind of the playful ones, and then the oldest students are in the in the cloistered, uh, more um, reposed buildings, if you like, around the outside, taking care of them. And so that's kind of how the language of the of the design developed.